Parent number one. Oh, and Ford had to punch it away. Derry City win the FAI Carlsberg Cup. David Ford keeping goal for Ireland. Competitive David. Oh, Ford makes the save. David Ford quite brilliant. Ford gets himself across his line. Reflex is brilliant. David Ford again. Yes, we're delighted to welcome David Ford to Soccer Republic. David, we're delighted you could uh, join us this evening. Thanks for coming over. Uh, let's talk first of all about the weekend, because for any keeper, it's great to keep a clean sheet. That's what you did against Charlton this weekend. Yeah, clean sheets are great, and you know it gives us a platform and it gives us a great bit of uh, confidence going into next week. That's two in a week, so yeah, you know it's disappointing that we didn't go on and win a local derby where you know, we probably had the better chances and probably should have got the three points. Yeah, I suppose the priority now is to get away from that danger area. You're just above it at the moment. Yeah, we've been unlucky recently. You know, we've, we've played very well in games and we've had a lot of possession, a lot of chances. But, you know, often you find when you're down there that, you know, it just, you don't get that rub of the green or that bit of luck. But look, we'll keep plugging away and I'm sure we'll, uh, you know, the new managers install some a lot of belief in the side and stuff so I think yeah we can definitely climb away from, from okay the well table. best look with Millwall for the rest of the season David I'm sure everybody's familiar with your story in recent years of course because of your emergence as the Republic of Ireland's number one but prior to that I mean you've had a, a long and winding road to get there uh, when you went over to England first or to Wales to be specific you went over to Barry Town I mean what did you hope to get once you got over there yeah you know it's I, I started off a goal it was a fantastic time yeah and, you know, Donna Reardon was great for me there and he gave me an insight into full-time football and I just thought, you know, that's where I want to that's where I want to be and playing in the UK. Um, yeah, and then the opportunity arose, you know, to go to somewhere like Barrytown. I know it wasn't probably the glitz and glamour of, of, of English football, but, you know, it was an opportunity for me to go and for someone to spot me there and, uh, you know, there would have been plenty of scouts or whatever at them games, more so than, say, watching in Ireland. So, yeah, I just thought it was a good opportunity for me and... Uh, Luckily enough, it turned out that way. Yeah, and you eventually found yourself at West Ham. Didn't quite work out for you there, and you moved back. I mean, what was the reason to... I mean, did you move back to try and sort of get the momentum going in your career once again? Yeah, just to, I suppose, try to re-establish the love of the game again and get back and join it, you know. I had, you know, three good, great years at West Ham, but for some, for whatever reason, you know, it's just I, I probably was a bit overwhelmed by the whole experience. Yeah. And I, looking back at it now and reflecting on it now, I probably wasn't ready. Um, so yeah, it was look. It was a great experience, and uh, yeah, when when I returned, you know, Stephen Kenny came along and uh, you know reignited that fire again and uh, got me going again. Yeah, and you moved back across the water to Cardiff City. But do you think the most significant move of your career was to Millwall, where you, where you firmly established yourself as the club's number one keeper? Yeah, Derry City was fantastic for me. I had some great years. We won some trophies, and you know, I always had a burning desire and that ambition to get back to the UK. And you know, Cardiff came along and. They offered me that opportunity where, yeah, like that again, it, it just, just wasn't right for me. You know, sometimes you go to a club and it fits like a glove and yeah. uh, forgive the pun, like, you know, but <laughs> um, these things happen, like, you know, but, you know, Millwall's been fantastic. I've had six phenomenal years there. We've had some great success and, you know, three trips to Wembley uh, for such a for the size of the club is, was unbelievable as well. Yeah, so... I'll be ever indebted to Millwall. Yeah. yeah, and as a result of your success at Millwall, you grabbed Trapattoni's attention. What was it like when you got that first phone call or whatever form the contact took? Yeah, it was. Uh, we'd played away to Burnley. I think we'd beaten them 1 0 at Turf Moor, and uh, I think Alan Kelly was at the game at the time. So I remember just on the bus, and you know, you're elated and you're over the moon after yeah. getting a win, especially three points away from home. And a strange number of calls, and it's, you know, hello, it's Alan Kelly. And, just to let you know, you've been uh, included in the squad for the upcoming fixtures. And, uh, yeah, there was a tear in the eye. Yeah, it, did. it was an emotional time. And, uh, yeah, I was just, just, just elated, really. Yeah, delighted. Yeah, and it's gone really well for you, David, in the, in the Irish jersey. Continued success. We'll chat to you a little bit more a little later on in the programme. But great to have David with us this evening. Now, let's get to some action. And we start.